Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use a slider in a MATLAB GUI. So first I have this uh, GUI set up and I have a static text uh, here, static text here, the tag is text num, and then I have a slider uh, from here, and this is the tag is slider num. So there's a few things that are important in the slider. If we open up the inspector and we scroll down a little bit, the first one is the tag, like I just showed you, slider num. The second one is min and that's the minimum number of the slider, and max is the maximum number, so the slider is going to go from 0 to 1. The other important one is value, and that tells you what value the slider is currently at. So right now, the default value that I set it to is 0. So if we close this, save this, it generates a .fig file and a .m file. This is the .m file. I added my initialization and my callbacks uh, header thing right here. When you uh, save it, it generates this create function for the slider and then a callback for the slider. Uh, nothing's created for the static text. So the, you don't have to do anything with this uh, create function, just put it in the initialization section. And now we'll look at the value slider. So the first thing I want to do for the uh, value slider is that I want to get the, the value of the slider. So what I'm going to do is just get the uh, h object value. So I'm getting the attribute value. Uh, as we saw in the UI inspector. And then I'm going to assign that into the base workspace as slider value or slider val. And it's, uh, I could also use, instead of using h object, you can also use um, handles dot and then use the tag slider num and value like this. But since we're in the actual function callback here, we can just use h object for simplicity. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to set the text num uh, static text string to the value that, that is selected on the slider. So if I save this and I run it, it opens up and it starts out at zero and the slider is at zero. Now if I start moving this, you can see the slider value starts increasing. That's the number of where we are. And then it shows up here as well. And you can see that we're going from zero and we're increasing the slider and it goes up to one. So it goes from zero to one. Okay, so another thing that you can do is if you open this back up again, you can go in here, and if you want it to go from something, uh, or, or a different range from, let's just say, 0 to 5, we can change the maximum value to 5, save that, run it again, and then you can see it's still 0, but now we have a range up to 5. You can also start the slider at a different value, so if you open up value down here, let's say we want to start at the middle, which is 2.5, push that in, press save, and now you can see that it's that it's in the middle of the slider here. So if I save that, and then I go like this. Here's the problem though, is that you have this zero here. It's not at zero, it should be at 2.5. If I click it, it goes to 2.5, but we want that to show up immediately. So what I can do is in the initialization, when the, uh, when the GUI is being made visible before anything happens, I can set the handles.textNum, so that's the string, or the, sorry, the static text that we're looking at. I'll set the string to this value. I'm going to get the handles.slidernum, so that's the tag of the slider, and I want to get the value that it's set to. And so that's going to set the actual value that it's set to in the static text. So if I run that, now you can see when we open it up, it's automatically at 2.5 and we can go from 0 to 5. So that's just an introduction of how to use a slider in a MATLAB GUI. Thanks for watching.